Luz Albo and his family have requested that the remainder of his care be provided in Germany or the United States, said Dr. Joseph M. Herman of the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center and Dr. Marcus Buschler of the University of Heidelberg, in a joint statement. While a degree of risk always exists in the movement of any patient, both physicians believe Mr. Liu can be safely transported with appropriate medical evacuation care and support. However, the medical evacuation would have to take place as quickly as possible. The doctors added that both their institutions have agreed and are prepared to accept Lou for cancer treatment. Amid growing international concern over Lou's health, a Chinese vice minister of justice met with representatives from the U.S., German, and EU embassies in late June to brief them about his case and told the diplomats that Lou was too sick to travel abroad, according to a source familiar with the meeting. A few days after the meeting, however, the authorities said they had approved the family's request to invite Western doctors to join Liu's medical team, composed of prominent Chinese oncologists, at a hospital in Shenyang in northeastern China. Herman and Buschler visited Liu on Saturday afternoon. The balls in China's court of Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs has yet to respond to CNN's request for comment on the doctor's remarks, but a statement released by the Shenyang Hospital quoted them as saying to lose Chinese doctors, we have no better options, you've already done a very good job. Under the headline, American, German experts claim Lu has no better options abroad, Lu, 61, was granted medical parole and released from jail last month after he was diagnosed with late-stage liver cancer. He had been serving an 11-year prison sentence for inciting subversion of state power in Jinzhou, near Shenyang. His most recent conviction, on Christmas Day 2009, stemmed from his co-authorship of Charter 08, a manifesto calling for political reform and human rights in China. In 2010, while in prison, Liu was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his long and non-violent struggle for fundamental human rights in China, prompting an infuriated Beijing to place his wife under house arrest and freeze diplomatic ties with Norway, where the prize winner is chosen. Liu's plight has come under a global spotlight amid allegations from his supporters that he had become gravely ill because his cancer wasn't detected and treated in time in prison, and that China has refused to let him seek treatment abroad for political reasons despite calls from other governments, including the U.S. Some supporters say the latest development Sunday has cleared a major hurdle for Liu and his family to leave China. All he and his family need now are their passports, as soon as China opens the gate, they can be on their way to true freedom, said Hu Jia, a leading Chinese human rights activist who has known Liu's wife for years and has served prison terms for his own advocacy. The balls in China's court again, he added. The doctor's words made it clear that there are no medical reasons for the government not to let him go. Pressure on Chinese Government earlier this month, 154 Nobel laureates across six disciplines signed and sent an open letter to Chinese President Xi Jinping, urging the Beijing authorities, on the humanitarian grounds, to grant Liu Zhaobo and his wife Liu Xia's wish to travel to the United States for medical treatment. The Chinese government, which continues to censor domestic news coverage of Liu, has been waging a public relations offensive in the face of strong global reactions to this story. The state-run Shenyang Hospital has been steadily releasing more details on Liu's condition and treatment, revealing that his wife has been staying with him at the hospital and that traditional Chinese medicine TCM practitioners have joined the medical team at the family's request. An earlier statement from Shenyang officials also quoted Liu's family as saying they were satisfied with his treatment in prison and at the hospital.
It added that Lou had a history of hepatitis B. Before imprisonment and prison authorities had provided him with an annual physical examination as well as monthly checkups, and no abnormal conditions had been found before the recent diagnosis. A prolific writer and longtime activist, Lou has been in and out of jail since the bloody crackdown on pro-democracy protesters in Beijing's Tiananmen Square in 1989.